Hello, welcome to week eight. Let me start with some quick announcements. Number one, your research paper is due next Friday. So if you haven't started it yet, make sure that you start working on that now. Five to seven pages and all the details are in the syllabus. Um, it's about one gender theory, basically. You pick a minimum of three articles. Check out the video from last week's announcement. Uh, it kind of lays out everything of how to do the assignment. I also put the video on the assignments main page through the modules tab. So if you still have questions, though, send me an email and I'll make sure I answer those. If you're sending me an email on Friday, it might be harder for me to respond. So if you're having questions, it'd probably be best for you to ask them Monday through Thursday or starting now. The second thing I want to say is that if you didn't see the announcement, the sixth a uh, journal entry has been dropped since you all have been doing phenomenal work. I'm also mindful of the impact of COVID-19 and how that's been affecting some students and also the upcoming election. Um, everybody should be voting, so uh, make sure you take some time to do that. Uh, briefly, I just want to kind of go over what I'm seeing so far. All of you are doing a really good job on the reflection and reaction journals. I'm really impressed with how um pretty much everyone is getting full points at this point in the semester so that's great uh in terms of your discussion post many of you were talking about benevolent sexism uh, minimal response cues polarized thinking troubles talk right and that troubles talk is really you know like you all said it's like we're talking past each other i don't know if you've ever been in those situations based on those discussion posts it seems like some of you have been i know i've certainly been using a mas masculine speech style with some of my uh, friends who are women and sometimes we're just talking past each other uh, and then I kind of shift into the feminine response style before shifting back into the masculine response style depending on who I'm with. Um, a couple of you in your reflection and reaction journals said that mastering these two types of speech communities would benefit you and I think you're right there. Um, yeah. And so if you have questions, reach out to me. This is the mid-semester point after this week officially. And so please take a moment to fill out the mid-semester evaluation. The link is in the most recent announcement. I'll also point it, put it in this announcement. And you know, there's extra credit involved if you fill that out, but it also really helps me to improve the course. So. Thank you for your attention to that and have a great week.